you uh, let's do some javascript here really quick okay this is uh, just a refresher and uh, just like every other you know language you would you know do the hello world but uh, before that you can find the uh, the console for javascript by visiting um, or rather by clicking control uh, plus shift plus j and that should take you to uh, where I am right now that is on Windows and Chrome okay um, let's see console log. oh sorry the world of JavaScript okay and then you should see that and then uh, let's you know to, to use comments you just say backslash by back, okay forward slash forward slash the comments okay and then now let's go do some variables and stuff and we will also find their types as we go so variable name like uh, this is my twitter handle and let's see what type is it type of operator you know helps us to find the type of name which is a string and uh, we can also say variable age which is like 12 i'm not 12 and we can also find two type of ages okay now what about um, variable like uh, can run if you cannot run that is false then you can also find five what, what is the type of can run and it's a boolean what about the opposite of false if you say uh, that that means it is true so you can also turn can run into true by saying it is not false okay if you do that that means can run now is true okay now we can do things like uh, uh, name plus you know, add some spaces there and then age and n is about 12 that means i'm 12 years old it doesn't matter really now um there are so many other types that we can just check really quick type of uh, type of uh, mt is a string type of number is a function type of that you know 12 is number and type of function is a function and type of object literal is an object and type of an array is an object and type of uh, something that whatever in quotes is a string now um, you can also say something like type of true or type of is boolean okay that's uh that's good enough for now let's do some math okay you can do all sorts of math like two plus um, two plus that well then or this minus that or this times that or 23 get the remainder zero or that um, and all sorts of things okay you can do all that now what about using the math object or actually math class so you can say math then find pi and math find the um, maximum of you know, like that okay or math the minimum okay or math the power Okay. Or mark the sailing. And so many other ones, okay, like cosine and sine. So having said that, there is another object or uh, here function called date. You can just say new date and it will give you the current date of your, your computer and location. Okay. 
now let's do functions really quick you can say variable uh, walk is equal to function let's not give it a parameter and then it's still console the log um, I am walking a thousand miles now we can call that and say walk okay and it says I'm walking what about variable that takes uh, arguments like uh, miles Say console the form. I ran miles. Miles yesterday. Yesterday. Oh my God! I did that run. Now we can call run and pass in twenty four. And then see, I ran 23 miles yesterday. Good. So as we can see, that is a uh, pretty clear, and uh, you can call one function inside another function. I'm not going to do that now because I don't have enough time. Okay, let's do um, objects. Uh, you can say variable person. Of course, to new object. Okay. And we can add properties to person like name. It calls to John or person to age is equals to 22 person dot can run equals 4 oh sorry um that oh, I missed up that yeah person dot can talk is equals false so now we can see what person is all about, has all the properties, and we can actually access each one of them, like age, what person can talk, and uh, we can also delete some of the person dot age. That means it is true that we don't we don't have that anymore. Okay, let's go ahead and do arrays here. <coughs> so we say for scores that and then uh, we can push uh, scores into it say push then another one scores dot push okay and then you can also push more you know arrays into the same array like this and then another one Now we have an array inside another array, and we are putting it into an array. So we can now give what is inside the score, and then we can say scores at zero, and scores at one. What about scores at zero, at zero, and fine. Okay. What about uh, scores at zero? And then at one, still undefined. Okay, uh, let's see. Scores. You can see let's see scores at three. Well, actually, two has the other one. Now we can go deeper and do whatever we want. So that's it. And um, I hope you know. You know, you have a lot of fun, and uh, you can you know you can go do do more with. The, uh, with this okay okay um see you later console dot log i'm out <laughs>